hello guys how are you welcome to my channel today i bring you a super video because i got a new eyeshadow palette by dominic cosmetics and it's this one right here and it's so pretty the packaging i swear i had a box i'm sorry i threw it out so i don't have it anymore so pretty as you can see the name of this palette called dominic essential palette look right there and i'm going to show you the shadows right away I love the mirror. You know, this palette reminds me so much of the Patrita packaging. Basically the same thing. Look at these gorgeous shadows. The shimmers are very pretty. And the mattes. I love them because you have everything here. Like for every day. And it's perfect. And I love this soft black matte shadow here. Obsessed. So, yeah. I'm going to be using this palette to get ready. I had only concealer on my... Um, eyelids um, I apply foundation the foundation I'm using is this one by NARS you know Cad Cadiz mixed with Barcelona you know I love these foundations so that's what I'm using on my face and I do have a pimple over here that I pop I couldn't I couldn't take my hands out of it of this pimple and I pop it and now it's like bleeding and I apply some concealer and powder Underneath, I apply primer, so it's just a little swollen, so I'm fighting with this. Anyway, um, I apply powder. The new powder I'm using is this one by Makeup Forever. This one right here. This powder that I'm using right now on my face is by Makeup Forever. It's one of these newest powder that Makeup Forever came. It was the same they have, but they reformulated and they put like different packaging. This one called HD Skin Matte Velvet. You can see right there. It's a little bit dirty, and the J is 3 and 42. That's like mine. I'm also been using the old one, as you can see. This one is the matte velvet skin, which was like the old format, and my shade was the Y415. Oh, I love this powder so much. And the first shadow I'm gonna be using is this one right here, and this one called Compassion, such a pretty light transition shade, it is perfect for transition. I'm gonna be using the color True Self. Look, that's True Self. And I'm picking a lot of that color, as you can see. I'm going to apply. You can see there. I can apply a little bit more. The palette is a little bit powdery, but I don't really mind, you know. I'm gonna be using the color Pos Positivity, this one right here, on my brow bone. You can see like the perfect look for every day. So pretty. And apply a little bit more of that color on my inner tierra. I'm going to apply that black because you know I love black shadow, so I'm definitely gonna use that black shade. Black shade called Fearless, and it's a very soft black, and I really like it. So I'm just going to apply that like on my outer B. And I'm gonna take a blending brush. You know, I love MAC brushes. I wish MAC would be like the, you know, the old style, better than this one, the taper. But I still love this 224S. I 
I used to love and I still love because I still had that brush, the 224. Amazing. So I'm just gonna like blend. I'm going to apply a little bit more of the black, fearless. I just love, love, love. The shadow is so soft, so nice. I'm going to be using one of those shimmer shades, and I think I'm gonna, be, I think I'm gonna use the color Kelinda. Kelinda, this one right here is like a pinky gold shade. It's very pretty, it's very reflective. I'm gonna be making some swatches for you about this palette for sure. So I'm just gonna use my finger and apply. Over here. This is a very versatile eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty. You can see it there. I take a little bit more of the black and bling over here. Or oh, the color me amo. <laughs> This pinky shade that is like a neutral pink shade, so pretty. Like I swear, so pretty. That one. I'm done with this palette for now. I'm gonna be making you some swatches. I'm going to apply um, mascara. The mascara I'm gonna be using that a lot is this one by It. Cosmetics and I used to hate this mascara. I love it now because it's so easy to apply and it's like this wet formula and really like stain my lashes a little bit more because my lashes are very short, you know that. Like I don't have big lashes, so whatever I get is I'm very thankful for, you know what I mean? And this give me like that fit, you know, that wet feather like. Okay, so I already applied my first lashes. The lashes I'm using are by Lily Lashes and are the style of Miami. They are amazing. I love them. Um, I'm going to apply a little more powder because I feel like I'm getting a little bit oily over here. Mm -hmm. um, on my brows, I had this brow uh, gel by MAC and I love this stuff. Eco Eyebrow Big Boost Fiber Gel, and this one is in the shade Studio Eyebrows. I love it. And just basically, lately, what I've been doing is just like getting a brush like this and go around and applying this. Like, I'm not doing, I'm not been doing anything else for my brows, you know. No, I'm not being applying concealer or anything like that. Just, just this basically. And this is like a very natural, everyday stuff, stuff for the brows, so it's great. I'm going to be using this Sephora pencil. This is a brow pencil. Ah, uh, sorry. An eyelid. It's like a, a shadow liner pencil, basically. This one is on the shade. Um, this is waterproof and it's in the shade 20. So I'm just going to like apply a little over here. I like that. So pretty. I swear. I'm in love with this um, shadow pencil. <laughs> like a brush and just blend it. To open a little bit more my eyes. You know, I love NARS bronzer. I got a new one. Um, the one I got is... They now call Laguna and they are like without talc. So that's amazing that NARS made this possible finally, you know. Um, you know, I look at Sino by Nars. It's my favorite bronzer. But now they came with Dal Free. This is Laguna number no. 4, which is equivalent to the Nars Casino for my shade. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. For this bronzer. 
because I lo love it. Blush, 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 blush. Obsessed with this one of my Sephora new blushes. This is Hide. It looks like this. I'm using my new Pamagra uh, blush brush. Obsessed. So soft, I swear. So. So, so pretty. For highlighter, I'm going to be using this one by Fenty Beauty. And this one is in the shade, well, they call Killer Watt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. This one is in the shade Mint Honey. Oh, says it's so pretty, I swear. You know the packaging. And it's this one right here. And I found this highlighter so pretty. I like this one because it's like more subtle this side. And this is like the shimmer side that is like, wow, you know, very pretty. See, this is like the matte soft side. It's not, it's like not much, it's just like very subtle. You can see there how subtle is. Now I'm going to use like the shimmer side. Oh, oh my God. So pretty, I swear. And that's why they're kilowatt because they're very extravagant and a lot that. But they, they're extravagant, but not in the bad way, like in a very good way. Like they look so pretty. The sparkle, so pretty. On my lips, I'm going to be using my new lip gloss by Fenty Beauty. And I'm obsessed with this color. It's so, so pretty. Like I swear, so pretty. This one called Fenty Beauty Cream. And this one is in the shade Cookie Jar. It smells so good. <sighs> this color is like gray for fall. The eyeshadows, how pretty they are. They're a little powder, like I said before, but it's, it's perfect for every day, like perfect. And if you add some of that black shadow, you can intensify the, the crease shade or the eyelid or the lower lash line, and you can make it, you can make it, you can convert the palette for nighttime, that makes sense. So this is again the packaging, so pretty Dominic Essential Palette. I love the color of this palette. It looks just like a shadow inside called Me Amo. I mean, not quite, but it kind of when you like apply on your crease. I mean, look, see, on your lower lash line, I apply and look how it looks. So, the first shade I'm going to show you is Grateful. And it's this one right here. I have a little bit of foundation left on my hands, but it's fine. You can see the shimmer shade is still like that. Grateful. The next shadow is pretty kind. This shadow over here. Pretty kind. There's two swatches. The next shadow is Que Linda. I love this cold shadow because it has like this pink shift to almost like a duochrome style, you know. The next shadow is Affirmation. You can see the affirmation. And these are just like the shimmer shadows here. This shadow is also shimmer, but it's like more of a satin finish, if that makes sense. And this one called Confident. And there's two swatches. Now we're coming with the matte shadows. There's Me Amo. Amo says with this color, it's so pretty. You can see that it's like a, like a muted pink. It's swatch is stronger when you apply them on your crease doesn't really like with the brush doesn't really show that much pigmentation it's still I guess if you get like a flat brush and you start like applying applying reapplying reapplying you probably will get this color payoff so that's great there's compassion there's one swatch there's two swatch there's three swatch there's posi positivity 
The next color is True Self. This one swatch. Two. Three. And the last shadow is the black shadow called Fearless. And that's my favorite shadow. Because it's very soft. But it's also pigmented. You can see right now on my outer bit. And there's three swatches. And there's four. It's not patchy. It's just like a soft, like a soft of black, if that makes sense. Look. So yeah, this, this palette is definitely like for every day. Kind of shadow palette, but you with that black, you can go a long way. Let me tell you. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.